Hi guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 13. Happy Vlogmas everyone. I am so excited for today's video because I am going somewhere super exciting as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail. So bottom line, if you guys saw my Emmy J haul, it was the haul um, of these hair clips. I posted that video before, right before Vlogmas, and I basically bought a bunch of hair clips from a company called MEJ. This is one of the hair clips. If you didn't see that video, check it out. MEJ is actually having a pop-up store in New York, and since I live in New Jersey, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go. I saw some photos on their Instagram because it was this entire weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and today is Sunday. And it looks so super cute. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go. So my boyfriend was so nice enough to go with me. Um, he said, yes, of course I'll go with you. So we are gonna go together. Um, and yeah, so I'm very, very excited to go see the pop-up. It looked very cute. They also had like some hot chocolate and stuff. And I kind of want to get into the holiday season their pop-up store is called like the ski club which I thought was so cute so we're gonna be doing our makeup um, to go to the MEJ pop-up store so I'm gonna take my hair clip and put it back if you guys saw yesterday's vlogmas video then you are probably thinking oh didn't you wash your hair last night why does it look like this I actually curled my hair after I ended that vlogmas video um, so this is what it looks like now it actually held up pretty well I curled it again and I'm actually gonna be touching it up a little bit, but we're gonna start by doing our makeup. Hailey Bieber's makeup routine. I absolutely love her makeup routine. I showed you guys what I do, and so I'm gonna be doing it today. So right now I am using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm actually gonna be very honest. I am not a big fan of this concealer because I noticed that it actually creases a lot underneath the eyes, and I find myself having to always touch it up which is very annoying aside from that i like the concealer it's just underneath the eyes that i've noticed sometimes it can crease i don't know if anyone else has that problem it's not terrible like i'll finish the bottle but i probably won't get it again i'm taking the concealer and i'm going to be using my fingers to blend all of the concealer also if you're wondering what the clothing rack behind me is i got some clothes from amazon or i didn't get some clothes this brand on amazon sent me some clothes and i'm waiting on two more pieces from them and then i'm going to be doing a haul i'm actually really excited about some of the items i'm actually wearing one of them today so i'll show you guys you'll get a sneak peek next i'm going to be taking my rare beauty foundation and applying just the tiniest amount i'm also going to be taking my concealer and lightly going underneath right there i always used to get carried away with my foundation and i realized after watching Haley bieber's video that a little bit does go a long way sometimes less is more now that my foundation and concealer are on I'm gonna be taking my oogie cream contour stick and this flat brush and this is how I'm going to be applying my cream contour I'm not applying this directly to the skin I'm gonna use this brush to gently apply the cream contour instead I kind of just apply the cream contour everywhere and then in the end once I'm done applying it and I feel like I have a good amount I'll go back in and actually blend it out more. Cream contour is on and finished. Now I'm going to go in with some blush. I am using the Merit Beauty blush. Of course, I'll link down below all of these products that I'm using. And I'm going to take the blush and kind of apply it upward using the same brush. I'm going to blend this out, but blend it upward into my cream contour. I'm also going to be taking this blush and apply it to my eyelids. I know, kind of strange, but I actually promise that this looks really pretty once it's blended out. And I'll just apply a little bit of powder to my lids. That way they kind of stay in place and they don't crease. Next, moving on to highlight. This is the Merit Beauty Highlight Stick in the shade Canva. I am going to apply this product directly to my skin, but apply it like this kind of in a tapping motion. All of my cream products are done. So what I'll do is I'll go in with a beauty blender and ever so slightly 
just go back in and make sure that everything is blended just kind of to secure everything in place finally it is time for some powder so what i will do is take a small little brush take some pressed powder not loose powder not we're not baking and i am going to literally just apply this powder to my t-zone this is another trick that i learned i'm someone that has dry skin not dry skin in the sense where it's peeling or it's cracking or anything like that but it's just like a little bit dry and i just need some hydration is all that it is it's not like super super dry which is a good thing but i always struggled with getting glowy skin because I just was always afraid of not using powder. I don't know why, because I have dry skin. And now I realize that this is literally like all that I need. Do you see how like that just transformed the makeup? Little went a long way and we're all done with that. Taking the spoolie, I'm gonna brush my eyebrows down. This is how you get some of the product off. I'm going to do my eyebrows now. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in the shade Ebony. So ever so slightly, I'm just gonna start doing my brows. I started doing them very lightly as well. I take like the slightest bit of product. And there we have it, those are the brows. Mascara is done. Now time for my lips. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take my little Vaseline and apply like the slightest bit of product to my lips. I'm taking a lip liner now and lightly lining my lips. My lips are lined, now I'm gonna take my favorite lipstick ever, which is the one from Chanel. And I'm just gonna go like this. I was gonna apply some lip gloss, but we're gonna be walking outside and I do not feel like having my hair stick to my, my lips, so we're just gonna do without. And we are finished, here is the makeup look. Let me show you guys in better lighting. It is very gloomy outside. It looks like it's going to rain. It actually said it was going to rain, but hopefully it doesn't. Here is the makeup look, as you can see, very glowy. And I'm just so obsessed. You guys will obviously see it throughout the day, but it's so effortless, so incredibly glowy, and I'm just obsessed with this look. So if you are interested in any of the makeup products that I used, for this makeup look, then I will have it linked down below. I'll have a link to the makeup products that I used. And I will also have that Hailey Bieber makeup video or tutorial linked as well because that is like a more in-depth version of what I just showed you guys. I'm going to do my hair first and then we're gonna get dressed. But I wanted to also talk to you guys about my hair. So if you saw yesterday's video, then you saw that I used a curling wand to do my hair and then I washed my hair at night. You guys saw that as well. After it finished drawing, I did curl it again so that I could have it nice and curly for today and didn't have to worry about curling it um, in the morning because I didn't wanna waste time. And I slept on it, it actually looks pretty nice. I just wanna retouch up some pieces and talk to you about the wand. This video is now sponsored, by the way. So this is Turvik's old bubble curling wand. I did an entire video on this curling wand and basically this bubble wand gets your hair so incredibly curly, it's insane. You literally wrap your hair in between the bubbles and you get tight, tight curls. And then if you wrap your hair over the bubbles, you get like looser curls. So they actually came out with the new and improved bubble curling wand. So this is their old one, this is their new one. As you can see, their new one has fewer bubbles and the bubbles are also fatter. And if you see here, the bubbles are thinner. So do you see how this part is a lot smaller, whereas this part is a little bit fatter? So because of this newly designed bubble curling wand, you were able to get hair that looks like this. They asked me to review it and just let me know how I liked it. I like this one 50,000 times better and I'm gonna explain why. With the old one, you you can get very, very tight curls, which is great, but people typically want like natural looser curls and with this wand, that's what you can get. It's literally insane, like look you guys, and if I can, and if you wrap it around super, super tight and hold it for very long, you can get those really tight bouncy curls like you can with this wand but with this one what's great is that you can also most importantly get those natural curls it's actually insane so what i'm going to do is like take a piece just to show you guys how natural that is and then you literally can just brush it out so i'm gonna continue this process and just do a few more to like revamp my hair side is done i'm taking my jbn styling mist and i'm just spraying this to the bottoms of my hair and this literally transforms your hair you guys look at that 
it makes it look super nice. All right, my hair is done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in some better lighting. I wanted to show you guys the hair and makeup in some better lighting. I've said this before in my other videos, for some reason, my parents have 10 times better lighting than I do in my room and I'm so, so jealous. They literally have one, two, three, four, five windows in their bedroom and it like wraps around their entire bedroom. So they get lighting from all sides, it's crazy. And I've been using their bedroom to film videos and take photos because I don't get the same lighting in my room, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's been fine. So let me show you the makeup first. Here is the makeup. As you can see, so effortlessly glowy, like it's insane. You guys have to do this makeup look like I'm not even lying. So that's the makeup. Let me show you the hair now. And this is what it looks like. Again, just super, super curly, so effortless. And if I wanted to go over them again, I could, but it just looks so nice, you guys. I'm like literally obsessed with this curling wand and it was so easy to use and I'm obsessed. So if you guys are interested, in this curling wand, I'll have it linked. You have to use it, you have to buy it because look at these waves, so easy to use, literally takes me less than 30 minutes, I'm not even lying, and this is coming from somebody that's not very good at hair. You guys never see me with my hair curled because I don't know how to use curling wands, but this one is easy because you just wrap your hair, like it tells you what to do. It's not like you have to do it yourself, if that makes sense. But yeah, one last time, this is the final hair. Okay, now we are going to be getting dressed together. I've actually never done this before, before on my YouTube channel so I'm very very excited for you guys to get dressed with me so because we are going to New York I want to stay warm as possible because it's going to be very cold out it's not like freezing freezing cold but it is going to be cold so I want to stay warm so underneath my clothes I'm going to be wearing my skims thermals if you guys are interested in these exact ones i'll have them linked so this is their ribbed tank in the shade bone and then i'm wearing their thermal ribbed leggings in the color bone as well i think i said sh shade before <laughs> i meant bone we're not talking makeup here i'm going to keep this underneath my clothes because i want to stay warm now that i have my thermals on i'm gonna put on some fuzzy thick socks so these are from Kate Spade my best friend actually gave these to me and because I'm wearing boots I want to stay just warm you guys I'm trying to like actually dress warm so we're wearing some thermals and we're wearing some socks now that I have my socks on there we go we're gonna get dressed so this is what I'm thinking you guys I thought of an outfit last night and I was actually pretty impressed with it so for pants I'm going to be wearing these these are from Boohoo. These are a light denim straight legged pant. As you can see, they go straight down and I love them because they're super baggy. I'm typically a size six and I got these in a size eight. I got a size eight because I was afraid that they weren't going to be long enough and the length is spot on because I'm five six, but they're a tiny bit big around my waist. But I think I can get away with it in this look today because I'm not wearing a tight shirt. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Like it's fine here, but then if I turn around in the back, you see how like I have all this space. Like I want it to be like that, the jeans, but it's fine. I can always have them tailored. Now for my shirt, I'm going to be wearing this one right here. This is my mom's. And I actually really like this shirt because it's a nice fitted turtleneck. And it does kind of come out a little. So I think I'm going to tuck it in. Leggings, my jeans, and my shirt. But we're not done just yet. This is one of the pieces that I got from Amazon that I was talking to you guys about. This is from a company called Meraki, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And they sent me this super long black like vest thing. I've always wanted one like this, but I've never seen like a long one. And you guys, wait till you see it on. This like completes the whole look. All right, do you see the vibes now? Yes, I absolutely love it. But hold on, we're still not done. This is just like a thin white scarf. I'm sure you can get one anywhere. I don't know where this one is from, sorry guys. And then wait, last but not least, my earmuffs. These are from Forever 21. I'm gonna literally place them over my ears, like so. And that's why I curled my hair, because look at these pieces. But wait, still not done. We still have a purse. This is the purse of the day. This purse is from Romwe slash Shein. I wanted to match the fluffiness of the earmuffs. So we have a fluffy purse, super, super cute. And I just put my 
MEJ headband on the side of it, or I'm sorry, hair clip. Since we are going to the MEJ store, I have a bunch of stuff inside that I need. And then also for shoes, I'm going to be wearing my black Uggs. So these are the black Uggs that I'm gonna be wearing. These are like the classic black Uggs that are like old. I've had them for a while. I wanna say like maybe three or four years. I don't know, it's been a while. And then I also need gloves, but I don't have gloves in my closet. They're downstairs. So I have to go and find them. This is giving me like winter in New York. Like I just threw this on and I'm going for a walk. I am so obsessed with this. And I'm gonna give you guys an also detailed look in the mirror, but Thank you for getting dressed with me. I actually really like this. And yeah, this is a full 360 of the fit. Here is the outfit in the mirror. I know you guys already saw it, but I'll give you a full OOTD. So again, just to reiterate where everything is from, if you are interested in anything that I am wearing, I will have this outfit linked down below. Just look for the link that says outfit details. So again, my shirt is my mom, so I cannot provide a link for the shirt, but the pants are from Boohoo. This vest is from Amazon. My scarf, not sure where it's from, but my earmuffs are from Forever 21. The initial C necklace that I'm wearing is from a company called Bubble Bar. The purse is from Romwe, and the hair clip is from MEJ, and my boots are Uggs. So that is where everything is from. Also, my phone case is from Shein. So if you're interested in anything that I'm wearing, I'll have links for it all. But yeah, this is the outfit, and I am ready to go. I need to go pick up my boyfriend, and we're gonna go ahead and go to New York. I almost completely forgot to apply some perfume. Oh my God, what perfume is this? This is Rem by Ariana Grande. Just kind of spraying it everywhere. Oh, my wrist too. Okay, there we go. That is the perfume of the day. Um, if you guys want a what's in my bag, actually, actually, I'll do one right now. So inside of my bag, I have my winter sunglasses. I have my Zyrtec. I have my lipstick that I used today, a chapstick. I also have a lip liner and I have a spoolie. This is lip liner. I also have a spoolie. And then downstairs, I have my wallet and my keys, but that is a what's in my bag. I'm just loving it. These strings are really annoying me. I'm like wondering if there's a way I can like adjust that. I guess not, but it's fine. Love this outfit. Like I'm like literally obsessed. I put it together last night and I was like, oh my God, go me. I always look at like Pinterest and like, you know, stores and things for inspiration and i actually got this inspiration off instagram through my fake account <laughs> if you guys know i have a fake instagram account that i use to follow celebrities and influencers and that's basically where i get all of my inspiration and i'll save things to recreate and so this was kind of like an outfit that i sort of recreated i got like inspo from multiple people um but yeah so let's go ahead and leave because i need to go i just got to my destination waiting for my boyfriend to come out so that we could go to new york so what we found is the best way to get there is actually by the bus. So obviously because I live in Jersey, you know, we can drive to the city, but the tolls now are $16 to go there and back, I believe. And it's just a hassle. Plus you got to pay for parking and you got to find parking and it's just like a whole thing. So that's why I never drive to the city. I do have my best friend that always drives to the city, but I'll drive like with him if he wants me to go or something, but like I won't drive to the city. Um, I used to take the train back in the day. That's how I always got to New York, but the train is pretty much the same price too it's twenty dollars to go there and back and even though it's not like that much it's twenty dollars whereas the bus it takes you there faster and it's only three dollars so it's literally three dollars to go so we just take the bus it's so much faster it comes every hour we know when it comes it's always there and it's three bucks and it takes you at the same place every single time and it's just like the easiest that's what we always do whenever we go to new york we always um just take the bus because it's a lot faster and it's honestly less gross than the train i found the train is just like ugh, so yucky whereas the bus is like less yucky I don't know that's just me also I'm obsessed with my hair it's so curly I'm like I can't stop talking about it because you guys know I always either have my hair straight or it looks a mess so this for me is like wow you know all right I think he's coming right now so we're gonna head out also really quickly I have been listening to Ariana Grande's new Christmas album or not new but like old Christmas album Santa tell me so good okay guys so we just got to the city. You can't hear, but we're about to be at MUK. So excited.
just got back from the MEJ Ski Club pop-up shop. I had so much fun. Yes, I know. I literally just went to New York for the pop-up. This is a store that I discovered recently and I don't normally follow like you know, stores on my Instagram, but I do follow them because I thought their stuff was so cute. And they happened to have a pop-up shortly after me following them. And I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's go. Um, I did also want to buy something, but I also wanted to, you know, have something exciting to go to for Vlogmas and, you know, take cute photos. I won't lie. Plus we got to go around to other stores and, you know, experience exploring the city a little bit. So if I didn't vlog so much in terms of my voice and things like that, it's because I was just in the moment. Now, let me show you guys what I got from MEJ. Sorry, this one curl is really bothering me, but this is the cute little gift bag that I got. I love it. They also wrote my name, which was so nice. Definitely going to be keeping this and they put in some tissue paper i'm sorry but you could have put made it look a little cuter <laughs> i don't know but whatever the thought that matters i guess um so let me show you guys what i got so the very first hair clip that i purchased is this one right here this is their limited edition one specifically for new york so they only had this hair clip um at the new york pop-up this is not something that you can get online so this is what the hair clip looks like it's this beautiful purple color and it has like snowflakes on it dark purple and white i'll show you guys better with the back camera but let me just show you the other hair clip that i got next hair clip is this one right here this is a dark purple hair hair clip and it's in the shape of a star and it's like all sparkly it has some pink in there I mean so so cute you guys so these are the two hair clips that I got from MEJ's pop-up and then they also gave us free hot chocolate which you all saw and a free sticker and this is what the um sticker looks like I believe they also had free lighters but I think we got there later and they didn't have any more um but yeah so that is what I got from MEJ let me show you guys the hair clips now with the back camera here are the hair clips once more again this is the sticker that i got i'm gonna keep this because you guys know i love scrapbooking so i'm gonna keep this for my scrapbook i'm also keeping the bag of course and then again we have the hair clips i love this one so much because this is like my favorite part like the star with all the sparkles and i absolutely love it and then this is the limited edition pop-up hair clip so this is the one that they had specifically for new york it is a beautiful lilac color with dark purple and white snowflakes and little purple gems so super cute so those are the two hair clips that i got um please excuse my nails i know i need to get them done but that was the haul from mej i just finished organizing and adding my new hair clips to my hair clip tray so this tray is from home goods i got it a while ago and i used to just my perfume on here so i basically used my old perfume tray to display all of my hair clips and i just added the two that i purchased to my tray and you guys it's literally filled so i thought i'd kind of go through all of them and tell you where they're all from so all of these hair clips right here so one two three four five six those are all from mej so these two you guys already saw this one is their star hair clip this is their angel one this is is their pink flower one and then this is their angel wing blue hearts hair clip i did a whole haul on these hair clips so if you'd like to see like an in-depth video then i'll link it down below this one i got from a arts and crafts like little store thing and then these two are from boohoo this one is from boohoo i think this one might be from h&m these are from h&m as well and these are from express and these are also from h&m so those are where all of my hair clips are from and i just thought to share my little perfume tray now that i showed you guys my hair clips i am ready to take these clothes off and take a shower 